one of these lucky couples could win a dream vacation. Meet Tamiko and James McMichael. They've been married two years. She's an assistant bookkeeper and he's a police officer. They both enjoy dancing. Meet Francis Johnson and Mike Toby. They've been dating for four months. They're both students. She likes hiking and backpacking and he enjoys filmmaking and running. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever. Shop till you drop. And now, here's the host of Shop Till You Drop, Pat Thank, Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. What a good group we have here. Welcome into our mall here on Shop Till You Drop. Hello and welcome to you at home. Thank you for welcoming, um, welcoming us into your living room, I'll try to say. Hopefully the show will get better after this. Uh, let's start off with Francis and Michael here. You two uh, are dating now in school, right? Yeah. Now, did you meet just bumping into each other? Or? I was actually in charge of our little sis rush for our fraternity, and uh, I saw her sign up, and I kind of rigged it and picked her, so uh -huh. I've been dating kind of ever since. Good yeah. to be in charge. Yes, <laughs> <of course. laughs> Very good. All right, James and Tamiko, welcome. You two are married. <laughs> And James, I'm glad you made it on time, by the way. Yeah, good, I did. Good. Told me I should be a little worried about that. I uh, don't be worried. <laughs> why, why is that? Because I was late to a wedding an hour and a half. You're late to your wedding an hour and a half? Hour and a half. And how does that happen? I was leaving the place, picking up my rings, and on the way here, they happened to be going by with a CHP chain for one of our vice presidents, and I broke through, and they pulled up on the side of me. I pulled up my ID and pulled out some rings. They said, go ahead. And I took off. <laughs> Very I good. made it, though. Well, then it's good to be a police officer then, too. Yes, you get some is. special help. All right, you two on the toss. You get to go first. Come with me. And in a moment, you can tell me whether you ought to pass or play. Now, this next game combines the excitement of home appliances with the sophistication of charades. Now that's entertainment, right? Well, <laughs> over on the other side, on Tomiko's, your table over there, we have several different prices. The prices we have are $9, $15, $20, $26, and $35. In a moment, I'm going to show James several different appliances. James, it'll be your job to act them out for Tomiko. Now, you can make noise, but you can't say anything. Now, Tomiko, it'll be your job to guess the appliance, and when you do, you'll hold up the price you believe it costs. And if you're right, you'll hear this. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this, and you'll have one minute to get all four correct. Okay. If you play, pass or play. Play. You're gonna play. Okay. Why don't you get in the position over there, James? You're right there. We're gonna put one minute on the clock. Ready, set, and here comes your first one. Go. Hair dryer. That's right. Yeah. yeah. How much? Fifteen. No. Nope. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. No. Nope. Twenty-six dollars. Twenty-six is right. Very good. Next one we have for you is this. Blender. Yeah. Right. Twenty dollars. $20. Nope. 15. 15. 15 is right. Very good. Okay, here is your next one. Mm. Mixer. Tea candle. Mm. Um, um. Toaster. Nope. Mm. It's an appliance. Uh, pass, pass. Pass on that one? Okay, here's your next one. Toaster. Yeah. yeah, that's right. How much? $20. Nope. Nine. Nine, Nine is right. Okay. Yeah. Here's your last one, the one you passed on. Do it again. Popcorn popper. Curling iron. Clippers. It's an appliance. Pass. Can't pass. This is it. Ooh. Man, that was close. Tomiko was a can opener. Can opener is trying to show you. It's hard and you have no way to relate it, but... No points here. You'll get your chance at points in a moment. In the meantime, we're going to see what Francis and Michael are up to. So we'll head right over here. Well, you're up to maybe getting messy if, if we just wanted to guess by that apron there. Well, you know, when you're in the food court, do you ever have a hard time trying to decide between, well, eating the meal or going straight for dessert? Just That's agree funny. with me. Say yeah. yes. Okay, okay. Now, we have a unique solution because the way this is working is Michael. You're going to be blindfolded, and then Francis is going to stand behind the curtain and feed you chocolate-covered mall food, right? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, each item will be something you can usually find at the food court, but it'll be dipped in chocolate. Why didn't we think of this before? <laughs> and here's the mother of chewed food to help us out, Grandma Curmudgeon. Grandma? Oh, hello, Patrick. I just wanted to stop by and help out. <laughs> of course. <laughs> they know Grandma has the gloves on, so it gives you a hint that it might be messy. You're going to have one minute to correctly identify four out of six items in order to win. Right. Okay? Why don't we put you guys into position? Once you're into position, we'll get the blindfolds on. All right. Get those blindfolds on now. No cheating. Okay, we'll put one minute on the clock. Put your arms through there, Francis. We'll put your arms behind your back, Michael. Okay. 
Oh, Re yummy. Mmm. Ready, set, and you'll reach for what's in the bowl here, Francis. What's in the bowl? What is this? Um, hot dog. That oh, is right. Delicious. That is one. Okay, here's your next bowl here. What is that? Chicken and bigger. Uh, chicken chicken, 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 chicken nuggets, nuggets is good enough. Very good. Here comes your next one. What is that? Chocolate covered. Uh, more. You can pass, pass, pass. pass on that one? Okay, we'll go to this next one right here. So nourishing too, Patrick. Hamburger. Patty. Hamburger's right. You need to get one more right in order to do it. What is this? Oh! Pickle? Bacon. Nope. Pass. Pass on that one? All right. And finally this one here. What is that? One. You're down to five seconds. Onion? Nope. Guess. What is that? Take a guess of food, mall food. French fries. French fries is right. Just in time. Oh. Whoa. Oh, yummy. <laughs> uh, do we have a towel here for these guys? Yummy. 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 Here, we'll grab a couple of these here for you. Here, right back to center court. <laughs> there you go. As you start to clean up, I'm going to tell you we've got points for you, first of all. 100 points and the chance to shop in our mall. We do have a shopper special also. If you get that, you'll also get a mini vacation. Here are the stores. Heidi's Housewares, Gifts Galore, Shea Gourmet, Cosmetics Plus, Sally's Bedding and Beyond, Andrea's Art Attack, and Von Schiffendecker Furniture. I think we're going to go with Von Schiffendecker. Okay, that means that you just want an entertainment center. D. Bush combines style and function in a spacious home theater of sand maple finish with adjustable shelves and panoramic curio lighting. From Bush Furniture, retail value $1,199. Very nice prize for you guys. All right, congratulations, you're in the lead. Tomiko and James will get your chance to catch up, though, because our stunts will be worth 200 points apiece. And we're going to do that right after this on Shop Your Drop. Stay with us. Welcome back. It is time now for round two. Chance for Tomiko and James to catch up, because stunts will be worth 200 points apiece. Francis and Michael, you can go first. Come right over here. You just stand right there and listen up and tell me whether you want to pass or play this particular stunt. Now, all relationships change with time. Sometimes, hopefully, it's for the better, okay? Now, on either side of our divider, we have a chart that says better, same, or worse, as you can see right here. Now, in a moment, you'll each stand on different sides of the divider, and I'll ask you a series of questions about your lives together. For each question, you'll indicate whether things have gotten better, stay the same, or become worse. If your answers match, you'll hear this. If your answers uh, are different, you're going to hear this, but you're going to need to match five out of eight in order to do it, okay? If you play. What do you think, pass or play? I'm going to pass. You're going to pass? Yeah. You're going to head over there? Okay. This one's yours, Tamiko and James. Come right over here. Why don't you get into position right on either side there? Now, how long have you guys known each other? About seven years. years. About seven years. I didn't mean to stump you with the first question. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Are you ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Let's see how it goes. Better, same, or worse? The amount of times he says he loves you. Make your change. Better is a match. Very good. That's one. Next one. Better, same, or worse? The size of his love handles. That's also a match. That's being honest there, James. Next one, better, same, or worse, him helping out with the housework since you've met. Not a match on that one, sorry. Next one, better, same, or worse, the amount of money he spends on gifts for you, Tomiko. That is a match, very good. Next one, better, same, or worse, the amount of money he spends at the mall. Not a match, can't give you that one. Better, same, or worse? His remembering to put the toilet seat down. That's a match, you need one more. Better, same, or worse? Her backseat driving. That's the same and that's a match and you did it, very good. <laughs> right over here. You guys know each other pretty well, so you've just earned yourself 200 points. And you've earned the chance to go shopping at our mall. Pick a store. How you pick it? Sally's Betting and Beyond. It's okay. That means you just want a great chest. Tell us about it, Dee. The Roy Hill Difference. A charming blanket chest. The right thing in the right place. It really makes for an added charm from Roy Hill. 
Retail value five hundred eighty-five dollars. Very nice, you guys. Congratulations. All right, Francis and Michael, it's our final stunt, and it is yours. Don't you stand right here? Just kind of loosen yourself up. If you're nice and limber for this next game, because you could get twisted up into knots as we do this. Because in a moment, what's going to happen is I'm going to show you four different items. The prices are listed on the twisted mat, the twisted prices mat. When I ask you to price them, I'll tell you which hand or foot to place on the price. The way it's going to work here is Francis, you'll use the pink prices, and Michael, you're going to use the blue ones. If you're right, you'll hear this. If you're wrong, you'll hear this, and you'll have to try again. You'll have one minute to correctly price all four items without falling. Okay? All right, we'll get you into position here. Start on the color of your start. And I'll tell you, we'll start with uh, time on the clock. Right hand on the uh, clue by Parker Brothers price. Right hand. That is right, $20. Very good. Next one, left yeah. foot on the cold turkey 11, by 11. Milton Bradley. Cold turkey by Milton Bradley. Pink, pink, pink. pink. This 11, is your 11. left foot. Oh, I can't. 11. I can't. Left foot. 11. No. 11. 11 is right. That's two. Next one we have for you, your right foot on Mall Madness by Milton Bradley. Right uh, foot on Mall Madness. 28. 28. 28. 28 is right. Very good. And we have one more for you here. Left hand on uh, six, uh, 50, talking 50, battleship. 50, 50. 50. 50 and 50 is right, and you did it. Very good. Made that seem easy. <laughs> it's not. All right, so we'll give you another 200 points, and now you get this shop. Good luck finding that chopper special. It's still up there. So pick a store. Gift score? Gift score. All right, gift score means that you just want a coffee urn. D. Tolls. Silver plated coffee urn holds up to 50 cups and adds elegance and beauty to your best occasion. Superbly crafted from Toll Silversmiths. Retail value $780. Very nice, you guys. Well, college students drink a lot of coffee, so I guess you can use that. All right, at this point, you've now closed the gap, James and Tomiko, and it'll all come down to our Shoppers Challenge round. They get to play, we get to watch. In fact, we can play along too right after this on Shop Your Drop. So please stay with me. I had this chronic deep. I just imagine if uh, the chance to win a dream vacation all came down to how well you did in a minute and a half period of your life. Because that's what's happening for these guys right now. Are you ready? Yeah. Ladies into position. We'll put a minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Good luck to both teams. What is the name of the Rebox line of footwear exclusively for children? Rebox. That is correct. If buying a jersey, what would the letters NBA on the logo stand for? Yes, National Michael. Basketball Association. That's correct. Of backyard, garage, or kitchen, where would you most likely put a gazebo? Backyard. Tamika. Backyard. Correct. What U.S. holiday is always celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November? Three seconds. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. Is a cravat mostly worn around your waist, your neck, or your arm? Yes, arm. Tamika. No, that's wrong, Francis. Your neck. That's correct. Of the following, which company makes the color stay makeup? L'Oreal, Revlon, or Neutrogena? Yes, Michael. Um, Neutrogena. No, that's wrong, James. L'Oreal. No, it's Revlon. According to their advertising, which of the following tire company slogan is because so much is riding on your tires? Yes. Figure out tires? Nope. Is it Goodyear, Michelin, or BF Goodrich? Goodyear. Nope, it's Michelin. What queen of soul is known for her performances? Yes, James. Mary J. Blige. No, of hit songs, A Natural Woman, and Respect. Michael? Aretha Franklin. That's correct. What type of lawnmower chops grass in tiny pieces to replenish the soil? Mul it's mulching. If you bought a ream of, uh, at office supplies at a store, what type of product would you Paper. have? Paper. Yes, that's correct. Which of the following symbols appears on the Hallmark greeting card logo? Rocket, sword, or crown? Yes, crown. Francis. That's right. The long, loose-fitting robes known as kimonos originated in what country? Hawaii. No, the answer is Japan. And Francis and Michael, you are going to shop you drop. <laughs> hey, you guys, you did win that nice prize. Thank you so much for being here. It was great meeting you. You can just head off in that direction, and we'll see you at the end of the show. We'll see you guys run around and have some fun right after this. Let's chop your drop. Don't go away. I'm Ben Gleave, and here's another idiot test. How many numbers between what? 
Welcome back. This is the final chance for you guys to win your big trip. And first of all, I need one of you to be the buyer and the other the exchanger. I'm the buyer. Okay. I'm the exchanger. All right. That means you're the runner here, Michael. You run a lot? <laughs> yes. Uh, cross country high school. Very cool. All right. Well, the way it's going to start is you guys will decide if you're going to keep an item inside the box or exchange it. If you're going to keep it, get it over to Grandma there and then uh, hit the bell. Very good. Uh, as soon as you do that, run back over here and look at the next box. If you decide to exchange something, take it back to any store in our mall, leave it there, and bring back the box from that store. And again, take it over there and hit the bell. In the end, we'll add up the retail value of the prices. And if they add up to $2,500 or more, you two will win a dream vacation. To where, D? To Hawaii! Outrigger East just steps from Waikiki Beach, where guests are special friends. Share island hospitality, exciting tropical evenings in paradise, and room class shopping in Waikiki, the Outrigger East. Very nice. You ready? Yeah. All right, take a deep breath, Michael. We'll give you a minute, 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, and go! Inside the first box, we have Auric Hypoallergenic Air System for pure, clean air. They're going to take that back, though, drop it off at Leslie's House of Music. Get it over to D and hit the bell. Next one we have is a set of Renee Fleur hair care products and Solano hair dryer from CosmeticsPlus.com. Taking that back though, that was worth $450, so hopefully that's an okay trade for you. Okay, next one. Ten of your favorite classic novels and hardbound covers from Barnes & Noble. He's not even waiting to find out what you think on that one. He's just going for it. All right, all the way up there to Outdoor Explorer. To D and then the bell. Okay, you're at 45 seconds at this point. Three picture frames from Pottery Barn. Taking that to Von Schiffendeckers. Next one we have for your contemporary spooky lamp with a translucent shade. Let's go to Heidi's housewares over there. And finally, a set of T-Fall stackable nonstick cookware with detachable handles. Goes to Sally's Bedding and Beyond. And the bell. Wow. You're in shape, I can tell. 20 seconds left, and you still went upstairs all that time. Very cool. All right, we're going to work our way down the table and see if we can work you guys to Hawaii. All we have to do is get this stuff to add up to $2,500. Decided to trade everything. We'll start off here with what's inside the House of Music. Look at that. D. Brunday gives you the look and legendary sound of yesterday in today's 50th anniversary classic 960 AM FM shortwave wooden top tabletop radio. Luxurious listening, European styling from Grundig. You took back the air care system that was worth $200. You got something worth $250. That's the way to do it. Next one we have for you is from Heidi's Housewares. And, well, look at this. D. The fun and functional Janome Gem Sewing Machine. Quality and big machine features in a compact 11 pound package. Great for a new sewist or sewing on the go. You took back the lamp. It was worth $99. You got something worth $280. That's a good trade. Okay, 1970 to go, and we have four boxes here. Gary's Gadgets is next, and inside, well, take a look at this little gadget. What does it represent for us, D? Samsung's full featured yet compact TV VCR combinations are versatile enough to be used in the kitchen, bedroom, or even in the car from Samsung. You took back the gift basket. That was worth $450. You traded, you got something worth $529. So all your trades have been good so far. 1441 now is the magic number as we next go to Von Schiffendecker's furniture and inside we find this piece of furniture, D. The space-saving Wallaway Chaise Recliner by Recline. Relax, lay back, and savor this complete head-to-toe support and overstuffed marshmallow scrumptious comfort by Recline. The picture frames were $102. This is $499. Okay, we're now at 9.42 as we go to Outdoor Explorer, and you can explore the outdoors with this, of course, D. Bushnell Quality Crafted Space Master Spotting Scope with Tripod and Case. Ruggedly built and ideal for a variety of build conditions. One of the first names in sports optics from Bushnell. You took back the novels. Those are worth $82. You've traded up, you can assume, right? $534. <laughs> okay, we're down to our final box. No matter what happens, no matter what's inside this box, you get to keep all of this great stuff, including the coffee urn that you earned earlier and the entertainment center that you got earlier. So you're doing great on the show. Question is how great, right? All right, let's find out. Sally's betting and beyond. We're going to need it to be worth $408. We come back out with this, D. Roy Hill's seven drawer sweater chest. Just the place to keep sweaters, scarves, and more. Neatly organized from Broyhill. Any way you look at it. 
needed it to be worth $408 in order for you guys to win the trip to Hawaii. You're smiling? Do you know what those costs? More than that. Yeah. More than that. Yeah, 585. <laughs> You're going to Hawaii. Congratulations, you two. Enjoy your trip. You are going to Hawaii. Good to have you here. And great having you here. See you next time on Shop Your Drop. Goodbye, my friends.